Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi there, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. Well, Bob, in our opinion, of course. So we're going to dole out some pearls of wisdom today, Brad. We're going to give you a little bit of advice of how to protect your knee and also how to not hurt it. Right. I mean, they're both important. Yeah. So Once your knees go, Bob, life gets pretty tough. Right. Our giveaway, by the way, oh. today is going to be Peach Choice foam pad. Yeah, well, they're for balance, they're for kneeling on, they're for sitting on. I love them at bleachers for games. Yeah. You know, they're, especially if they're aluminum bleachers, they're warm, comfortable. Get older and you don't want to sit on a hard surface anymore. Uh, I even think a younger person would appreciate it. That's true. All right, let's start off with number one. The first mistake a lot of people make is to rest the knee too long. Now, it's fine if you have an injury to take a little time off right. and maybe not put as much weight on the knee. But if you have like arthritis and you go, well, I have arthritis, so I'm not going to use the knee, it's going to get worse. Right. So if you just do not get up and walk or uh, even move it, you think that you just want to keep it still and give it time to heal, that can be a recipe for problems, Disaster. particularly with arthritis. Right. So you've heard the, maybe you haven't heard this, the acronym RICE, right. so rest, ice, compression, elevation. So that's after an injury or right. after uh, 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 inflammation, uh, Something got sort but of now sore. There's new articles oh. on mice. Mice. Mobilization or movement. Movement. Ice compression elevation. So they're saying there are a lot of people are saying now, even after after injury, you want to get the knee moving fairly quick. Right. But I think we gotta use this with good common sense. You're not gonna move it if you've got a lot of sharp pain and you're or not a gonna, fracture. Right. <laughs> yeah. So you know, you're gonna move it within reason. Right. So you're going to get more blood flow if you're moving it, mm -hmm. more synovial fluid, which is kind of nature's uh, lubricant. Right. right, the joint lubricant that keeps things moving nice and smooth. And you're going to keep the leg stronger. You're not, it's not going to atrophy or weaken right. over time. Keep those muscles moving. All right, next thing. When you kneel down. Now, can we move Sam? Sure. I, I Sam feel like can, he's hogging my <laughs> space. He's taking your film uh, space. Yeah. There you go. So I'm going to show this on here, Brad. It's not the best spot because it sinks oh, down a little bit. Mm. But when you kneel, first off, you should have a pad if you're going to kneel. Right. But the other thing you may want to do is actually not kneel right on the kneecap mm -hmm. itself. Because some that for some people, that is a source of pain. Right. So what you want to do is actually put that off the edge. Here, kind of go over this way a little bit, Bob. Maybe it'll be a little more clear. Yeah. So... And then when I kneel, I actually take the pressure on yeah. more the tibia, mm. on the bone, the lower shin here, bone, and that's going to uh, reduce the stress on the knee. All right. I tell you, I use knee pads or I use Pete's Choice on a regular basis if I'm doing something at home. I use Pete's and, Choice quite a bit. Yeah, they're, mm. uh, they're nice. <laughs> All right, number three. You know, I've used everything from uh, styrofoam to a pillow to a, right. anything laying I around use the pillows house a lot too. Yeah. So one thing, when you exercise and when you squat during the day, you want to, if you go to 90 degrees. Yep. So if knee, I'm going to here. Yep. You're putting a lot of stress on the joint. And if you have trouble with the cartilage or some arthritis, mm -hmm. it's going to make it worse. Exacerbated. So, right. So ideally, you want to go to 45 degrees. Brad, so you want to show like about 45 this. degrees. Yep. Yeah. And especially when things are flared up, mm -hmm. you know, you want to work your, out your legs, maybe you want to do some squats, yep. just do shallow squats. Yeah, and you can typically feel when you start going deeper, the the pressure goes on, and your body, your knees tell you, it's starting to hurt a right. little more. So you could do a peach choice, on a couple of peach choice. So you're saying if, if I'm going to do some squats for right. exercises and I'm going to use a chair... For you know, so a guide uh, or a guide, safety, right? And right. I go like this, my knee bends almost to 90 on this chair. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, yeah. <laughs> we got to stay in vision. Tanner's right. keeping us in line, 
which is why we have them here. Well, one reason, of course. <laughs> so I'm going down now. If you just take a pillow or a cushion and put it on the chair, this is about yeah, an inch I'll and a half. Two. Oh, we could go two, sure. That one's kind of big, Bob. Yeah, sorry I'd have about to that. custom that. But we go down, and that's no, much that's better. That's about 45 degrees. Yeah. I don't like the big. I, yeah. If I was at home, I'd take my yeah. knife or chainsaw. Take his lathe. <laughs> he has some tool for there it. There we go, for like sure. this. And even an inch and a half can make serious difference. Yes, I mean, you can really, really notice the, the difference in how much easier it is, less pain when the knee is so. Well, I, we've had people, patients that can't get out of the chair mm -hmm. unless you have that inch there or yep. inch and a half. And their eyes so. open up and say, wow, that makes yeah. a big difference. All right, next one. Uh, some good strengthening for the knee for the quadricep is just to do isometric pillow strengthening. So basically, I you put your your leg over the pillow, knee over the pillow, and you're going to push down like this and strengthen the quadricep. Hold for a, a count of 10. Yeah. And I usually just tell patients or myself, I just think I, I'm going to squish that pillow down right. into the, the table, the mat, or the bed, whatever. So it very be. simple to do, mm -hmm. and you can wake up in the morning and, and rip off a set, you know, or before you go to bed. You How can, many is in a set, Bob? They're going to yeah, ask. Usually, t uh, what, 10 to 12? Yeah, that's what I usually recommend. Maybe, you could do more you if you want to. sets if, if it's you feeling want. good. Yeah. Very simple to do. Very, uh, very beneficial. All right. Next thing is want to make sure that you have full knee flexion and full knee extension. Yeah. So flexion is bending it. And, you know, like in a chair, and this is one time where we, we, we say it's okay to slouch to get your butt out. Yep. If you want to try and get that knee, you might find this knee goes all the way in and maybe there's a sore knee. It doesn't. So you may want to gently stretch it and get through that. Uh, don't overdo it. If it has sharp pain, that's too much. You back off. and This is something you could do throughout the day. Yep. You, can, you can do it six to eight times a day if yep. you want. And right. it makes a difference if you put your hand up here or down here. Sometimes that you get more leverage here, but it don't worry, it doesn't allow the joint to articulate. Right, well I think most here. people find you can feel it. Like yeah. it's oh, this one doesn't feel like it's as loose as this one. Right. So. Yeah. Sometimes you rotate a little bit and yeah. that'll allow it to bend or flex more. Do we uh straightening too? Yep. Yeah. So I'm just gonna, you know, you could put, you know, like an a stool, stool or, or an ottoman. ottoman. Yeah. I'm going to put it here. Even a few inches like this can be helpful. Right. Where if that knee, you know, this knee goes completely straight and this one, ah, it's a little tight, a little stiff. Yeah, you can do some gentle stretching, five to ten repetitions. Sometimes it's really subtle mm -hmm. how much you're, you're missing. Yeah. This is my sister. She was. Uh, she goes, no, I, it straightens all the way. And I look and I go, no, it doesn't. It's like, you know, 15 degrees. Yeah, so. yeah, 15 degrees. And she was, you know, because people aren't aware of that if you're not, you know, you right. get used to it. You think that's business. the norm. Right, right. right. So that's it. That's a uh, simple five little tips. Well, did she fix it? Pearls of wisdom? I don't know. I haven't seen her since. Oh, really? So she's working on it. You see. <laughs> we got to get the report on that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, good. All right. Good. Remember, Brad and I can fix it about anything. Except for? Uh, broken heart. Yes. And we'll continue to work on that what avenue. Do they, what do kids do? Something like this, right? Oh, like this. or Yeah, like, uh, like this. See, look at Go look at look at it like that. See, how does that look? Yes. Put your, see that? You can see it. Uh, Okay, All right, be we're careful. Done. We're done. <laughs>